Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Ah! Damn it. I'll be right back. <laughs> The Arms is in the house, baby, and welcome back once again to my next episode of VGR Let's Play. And today, we're going to be playing one of the old NES classic of Metroid. One of the old Nintendo's classic games that's been very popular for many fans out there for the Metroid series. And yeah, it's like, what I'm going to do for this channel is I'm going to do go along with a chronology order. Like, I'm going to start with this game first, and then later on, I'm going to continue playing uh, Metroid Zero, Vis uh, Zero Mission. That's for the Game Boy Advance system. And also, I'm gonna be playing with. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. This is the fucking classic version. Are you kidding me? Hold on, let me, let me fix this. Okay, that's better. Okay, so, anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna be playing this game in the chronology order. Like, I'm gonna start with this game. This is gonna be the HD version I wanna play, the high definition. The other one was basically like 8 bit. The retro version. I had to. I got big time retro system. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with this game, then go along with uh, Metroid Zero uh, Mission. I was gonna say Zero Vision. So Zero Mission. Not only that, I'm gonna be playing AM2R. I'm gonna play this one in hard mode, and um, along with that, uh, I already uh, test played the game of AM2R in fusion mode. So I'm gonna be playing that one as well. Then later on, I'm gonna be playing uh, uh, Super Metroid along the way. Then uh, Metroid Other M, and finally we can play Metroid Fusion for the channel. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do my best is I'm gonna collect every single items in the uh, game Super Metroid. I'll do my best on that. I got practice first, and then I'll try to collect all the items on uh, uh, Metroid Fusion as best as I can. I gotta practice in that game as well. But Metroid Other M, nah, I'm not gonna be collecting all of that because like this practically pointless. It's like there's no reward for you to worry about that at all whatsoever. It's like, you're gonna be watching a little cutscene for you to play that game regardless. And then, on top of that, it's like, when it comes to any other Metroid uh, fan made game for the channel, let me know in the comment below. I'll be playing for you guys if you guys like it too. And also, the music sounds fucking amazing the more you think about it. And, you know, anyway. Whew! Okay, let's get into this gameplay. So, as you can see here, I did play the game three times in a row. So, like, this is the first run I uh, practiced for the first time. I sucked that. I missed one item of missile. I uh, basically the one spot I couldn't get to one time. I beat the game a second time, and that's basically unlocked me something really special. And I just recently played this game a third round, and I did it as fast as possible. So, anyway, let me just erase this file right here. No, 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 Sorry, that's a little spoiler. My bad, my bad. Okay, I got it figured out. So I didn't know how to do it. It's like, um, you had to press start in order to reset it. Anyway, without further ado, let the gameplay begin. So I'm gonna try to speedrun this game as best as I can, as fast as I could. And I'll get out this, Samus. Alright, so basically this will total of 8 energy tank in total, even though they only gave me 6 in this game for some reason, I don't know why. There's basically 255 missiles to gather in total. There's 75 uh, missile uh, uh, tank you can gather of each from either, you be both Prey and Ridley. So each of them has 75 of them in total. And also, um, when you go out to the missiles in this game, basically they gave you 5 each in a container. So, there's nothing for me to worry about entirely. I'll just show you how to navigate this game as normal as possible, as fast as possible. Because, like, those who are not familiar with the Metroid series and the old retro version of it, I honestly don't blame you because this game mechanic is so confusing as fuck when you play it for the first time. Like, when you navigate your way around this game, it's like, how do you beat this game? How do you navigate it? And all of a sudden, this is how you do it. Okay. Oh, shit. Alright, let me try to get myself up here to the upper section. This, I gotta watch out for this yeah, asshole's robots. I mean, robots. I meant monsters, those little aliens, the inhabitants in this area of Sevis. So basically, uh, you already read that I wanted a classic in the game, but uh, basically what you want to do is... Um, 
you want to go over to this spot first and uh, get the missile along the way. Because, like, you can't get anywhere um, places that you want to go to that gain some power up without the missile. So you have to go inside this area. You want to drop down this area next and be done with that part. Then we got all these, these items along the way. These motherfuckers. Fuck! Oh god. Um. Alright. So once you get the missile of this part, head back. Because there's nothing else for you to worry about for now. We'll, we'll come back here later on. I gotta get ready for this stupid alien. Actually, I'm the alien in this case because, like, I'm not from this. Well, yeah, technically she's not from this world. Because, like, she was all, all, all adopted here uh, by the, uh, the chosen people. So. Let me tell you the story about uh, Samus and story, like, of those who are not familiar with the series. A long time ago, Samus was an innocent little girl who lived in a colony with her parents. Then all of a sudden, Ridley, that asshole, the space pirate himself, you know that purple dragon that you guys see in Smash Bros. series? He basically attacked the colony. With no mercy, he basically killed both his parents, her parents, I must say his parents. And then, um, along with that, the, uh, Ridley was about to go kill after the little girl hurt himself. Yes, Ridley's an asshole. Fuck him for that. So, um, basically, uh, the colony was completed the story, and Samus is the only one uh, standing in the path that uh, she's the only little survivor. And before you even know it, Samus is um, uh, was found by one of the children's elder, and uh, decided to adopt adopt her uh, as one of their own um, family members. So it's like they want to raise her as one of their own. It says they train her to become a a fierce warrior. It says along with them. And then later on, she was gifted uh, with this power suit I'm uh, wearing right now, as a, called power suit. Uh, made by the chosen themselves, because this power suit allows her to adapt her weapons and abilities uh, at will. Like whenever she interacts with the items, like the missiles and such, it allows her to gain some capacity and uh, all power outs along with it, like with the barrier suit, all the uh, gravity suit, and all that shit. So what happens that after she? Uh, after she got herself a uh, powerful armor, so she decided to travel off in space and join the Galactic Federations. And uh, she joined the Galactic Federation Police Force, or the, uh, or the, ar the army itself, I guess. And, and then afterwards, uh, she was having a pretty good life of making some friends. Well, she's basically uh, a mute a lot. It's like She doesn't talk so much, but she has a guy that she looks up to. Uh, she considers a father figure named Adam Malkovich. Even though Mal Magnificent uh, did it for his own attention for trying to protect her, because like, uh, uh, he's basically a, um, uh, uh, she thinks that he thinks of her as a, his own personal daughter. And then um, during a certain event that um, that happened between Adam and his own brother, it says like a tragic event. All of a sudden, the uh, Samus wanted to um, save him, but before you even know it, she can't save him at all because otherwise she'd be jeopardizing other uh, people. With the ship to evacuate, so yeah. Uh, let me see. He, he basically sacrificed his brother just to save his crew member along with Samus. So this is a sucky decision to make to sacrifice your own loved ones like that. But all of a sudden, in the end, like it's being a commander or, no, or your own leader. Actually, he's a commander. The way you think about it, it's like he's uh, being your own commander is hard to make your own decision if you have to make a sacrifice for those. Like if you stick around too long for. Saving one person uh, did not save everyone else and such, then you're just jeopardizing everything. Of course, he felt really awful for what happened and such. Then, before you know it, with Samus' all actions for not allowing her to go out there and save him um, at will, she decided to like, quit the own Black like, Federation force and decided to become an independent bounty hunter. And it led her to this. So, basically, long story short, she wanted to become an independent um, bounty hunter to take her own fights out, do things her own way. Says so like, People who play aim to oh wait I forgot I need to get some more missiles. I need uh I, god damn it I need to get some missiles along the way. Like basically uh when you play the Metroid other M, people don't like that game very very much. I can understand why because like uh when it comes to you having uh the huge power up that the uh, Samus gather along the way, it's like makes you wonder why can't we use the power up immediately like before you enter some areas because like there's some spots that you want to get uh, around places and then all of a sudden uh, before you even know it, it's like um, they want to try to make it traditional that Samus had to 
go around places with the default weapons he's carrying. And then, um, oh, for fuck's sake. Give me that. You should have given me fucking 20, not. There you are. <laughs> like, they should have given me 20 uh, units of uh, in, uh, health energy for that. One. Like that, for example. Okay. Okay, you want to come right here because this one leads you to the ice beam. The other hallway that you see from, from before you later on, it leads you to nowhere, so don't worry about that spot. And yes, I do uh, have to admit this game, navigation, this game is very confusing as shit. But, um, it's how they designed it back then. Oh, thank god. I need five misses for this one because, like, I want to open up this door right here. So, um, you know if you just select the missile, just press the select button and then uh, the missile icon will show up and you'll be able to uh, highlight it. So this one I got myself a Ice Beam. Ice Beam is going to be my best friend in this game because like, every time I deal with the enemies around uh, the spots, uh, this is going to keep getting in my way. Like, legitimately, they're going to keep getting in my way every time I fight them. So I'm going to just freeze them in the spot and just uh, do some extra damage on them. Makes things a lot easier. Ice Beam is going to be my best friend. So I'm going to go after next is the long beam. So as you can see here, when it comes to you shooting your energy beam on short distance, you can only short, shoot on short distance, but the long beam, it allows you to shoot a longer distance. Oh, fuck me. Get there. I'm going to have to wait for a couple seconds for it to uh, reappear. You need to wait about at least six seconds. One, two, three, four, five. God damn it. <laughs> I usually get it right when I do this. So wait about at least six seconds to get up there. Four, five. Yeah, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I did too late. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. I may have to take some damage for that, but that's the best way for me to get up there instead of just me falling down like an idiot. It takes six seconds for the, the platform to reappear when you least expect it. But it, it helps me to get around places. I need to get some more missiles. Like, um. I just need one more uh, five set of missiles along the way so I can actually move on four. Also, this room right here leads you to nowhere, so don't worry about this spot. Okay. Um. So, anyway, like, back to the story on Samus. The, like, when you play Metro of the Amps, you come across our old uh, commanding officer along the way, but... Like, like it, they say in the story that um, Samus is very concerned for leaving Adam and the other crew uh, alone uh, with the possibility that they might face their own death and demise and the danger. So in the end, when you least expect it, she um, uh, so basically tag along with them and... Uh, just uh, wanted to help out because like originally Adam just not want her by her side oh uh, period because like um he just like uh, dismissed her to say get the hell out of here I don't need you on uh, her on this mission and then later on when uh, when he came to the realization that the um, when Adam was uh, about to face a realization that he can't do this without her help so he decided to tag her along in the future oh wait wait uh, th that's my way I think I could get this out the way and be done with this like heading to this direction leads you to a missile and also it leads you to the energy tank so I'm gonna get this done out the way I know how to get this energy tank easily okay oh god I hate going through the pipe because of these fucking things right here um so anyway later on though in the story Adam came to the realization that he's gonna need her help, but uh, he's gonna, in order for them to cooperate, he, uh, Samus has to do exactly what he says. You know, he doesn't, she doesn't move unless he says so, doesn't use any weapons until he says so. So, that's basically the main reason why Samus is not allowed to use any weapon. By the way, in this room, this leads you to the barrier suit. I can't get up there myself because uh, I don't know how to get there without it. Like, I could do the bomb jump thing, but for this version, like, when I play on the HD, uh, uh, version for this game like I can't even use the bomb easily as much as possible it seems that they're controlled but other than that I can't even use it so easily so I'm gonna have to go do things a long way like I would have got the very suit immediately but I don't know how to do the bomb jump in this game like in this version I can do any other metro series but not this one am I so, so. 
Okay, so I got me another missile. I'm gonna head more to the right. Cause like, uh, I know how to get through this game. Head up. Yeah, this is gonna be leads you to a hallway right here. Thank you, Ice Beam, cause I fucking need the Ice Beam in this game. Okay, so head to the right here, and at least you to the energy tank itself. Go ahead. Go. What happens every time you gather the energy tank, if your health is completely depleted and such, you're like you're about to die, uh, it allows you to recover your health uh, completely, full recovery, every time you gather the energy tank, so take advantage of that. There's also a trick you get up here with the bulb jump uh, ability right here, but I don't know how to do that. Again, I don't know how to do that in this version. So I'm going to have to uh, play it normally for you guys, those who are trying to navigate the game normally. It's that because, like, this game, this navigation in this game is very confusing. It's, like, it's so legit confusing that I, you get lost easily in the first time you play it. I don't blame you guys if you get confused by this game uh, if you play it for the first time because I got lost in this game the first time I played it. It took me at least four hours to beat it. Because, like, I kept looking at the map on um, what the internet had to show to you guys. Or so to us, actually. And then, afterwards, when it comes to you playing this game legitimately, then... At least you can actually play it by heart. Like, I'll try to get it down at least an hour, so, like... Hopefully, I'll get it down about at least an hour. But I'm not making any promises, so I'll try to make it at least around an hour. But I don't know, this is actually a really good game. I fucking, um... I, I fucking love this game. This, this series is amazing. Like, I definitely gonna be playing Metroid Prime series instead of the Metroid Prime Trilogy. I want to play that one in high definition as well, like, um, uh, HD setting, because, like, uh, there's a texture, um, mod that you get added into a dolphin emulator that you can play for this game, that, um, when you get the texture in it, then you'll be able to play an HD definition, uh, high definition setting for the Metroid Prime Trilogy, he said. Because, like, even if they do make a Metroid Prime Trilogy on a Nintendo Switch, I'm not going to wait for it. I want to play the original Metroid Prime for it, um, I want to play the, on the... Uh, Nintendo Wii system because it feels more comfortable to play the game normally like that. Alright, I'm gonna head to the left next. And I'll go after the long beam because, like, the long beam is gonna be very helpful as well because, um, because, like, the short beams that you have right here, I believe I mentioned earlier that it sucks. It just sucks. But the long beam yeah, allows you to aim further. It's like, especially if you have the wave beam in this game and such. There's only Ice Beam and Vape Beam um, in this game available. There's no Spazzer or anything. That's like, you get it on, um, you get it on Metroid 2 and um, Super Metroid. And yeah, you can't get hurt by these enemies if you go through the transition to uh, one door to another. You can't get hurt from that. It happened to me before, multiple times. So the Long Beam I have allows me to shoot a further distance. Thank God for that. I definitely gonna need that for later on missions. Yeah, get my way. I don't know how long I'll be playing this. It's long until I get it done as quickly as possible. Alright. So, if you want to get really good at this game and you want to impress the audience, just be good at this game and then practice. That's all you gotta do, just practice. Oh, 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 go, go back, go back, go back! I want to give me a third energy tank. I want the energy tank, damn it. Because like the third energy tank. It's right uh, nearby the uh, beginning of the stage, so I'm going to drop down here. Hopefully I can spawn an enemy that's nearby to it, so I can actually use that as my personal platform to jump up to the upper section, if I could. You know, if it doesn't show up immediately, then I'll have to make it spawn as much as possible, like, until I get to that spot. Okay, so we made it back to this area, right? So, just head into this direction if you have the bomb with you for your morph ball. Then uh, I'll allow you to. Oh, I gotta make a spawn. Okay. So I gotta uh, head back and see if I can make a spawn uh, again. There you go. Shit. Hold on, let me try again. Because the energy tank is above me. I gotta make it come closer to me. Okay. Here's the energy tank. Oh, shit. Got it. I should have made a couple of tries to do it when I was playing on the third round, but I got it. So, anyway, I'm not going to go to Crate immediately. I want to go after Ridley first. Because normally you're supposed to go after Crate first, it says, but I know how to play this game properly. Alright, so next we're going to do is head down to uh, Norfair. Because, like, heading to Norfair allows you to uh, 
come up near to Ridley later on, because like when you head down to the later sections, because uh, it's gonna lead you to Ridley Hideout, and also like. You gotta uh, get yourself real prepared for dealing with this stuff, like, get yourself a screw attack, rape beam, it says, because the rape beam is definitely gonna help out against Ridley, because, like, it makes it a lot easier. Go, you can actually cheat the game if you want to, because, like, um, when you want to cheat the game, just go into the lava pit there, which you're very soon, by the way. I'm gonna get the very soon later on. And, um, once I get the very soon, then I can actually take less damage, because the... To those all uh, don't understand how um, what happened back in the development when they were making this game, like the Barrier Suit was actually meant to be called Barrier Suit, but it was a mistranslation for the American uh, version of the game. So, so basically, basically, I stuck with the name Barrier Suit, and all of a sudden, that's how a name came up the Barrier Suit in the first place. So that's a pretty cool, uh, interesting knowledge if you know about that fact. And um, afterwards, when you um, we learn more about how the development works for the video game and stuff. It makes you feel fascinated about how the game works specifically. It's like, how the development work and, and does it really work in your favor? It's like, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Because, like, um, it's like, it's always, no, it's always good to be educated for what you want to learn specifically. Because otherwise, if you don't know what the development goes on to it, then all of a sudden, you like, you'd be like, Confusing how the development work. It's like, oh, I'm just here to play the game. It's like, well, technically, I am playing the game for my audience, yes, but I'm also educating you guys at the same time. That's basically the whole point of my channel. I'm here to educate as an entertaining you. So, there's two, two for one. Two for one. And uh, I really do love the texture that uh, this game is given for the HD definition. So, that's like, if you guys want to play uh, the game for a high definition version of it, um, I may try to leave a link in the description down below for you guys. That, um, I gotta try to keep that in mind, though. Because, like, if you want to play the uh, high-definition version of this game, you gotta get yourself a, a, Muzin, a Mazin emulator. Head down here and uh, use the one for this one. You get the Mazin emulator, and then uh, play this game by setting it up by installing it. Like, there's a tutorial video that teaches you how to do it properly. I'm not gonna show you myself. Like, there are other people who's willing to teach you, so... Uh, so look it up to them. Like it's basically along the way. Get, God damn it! Again, I'm very thankful for Ice Beam because Ice Beam makes things a lot easier for you to deal with these guys. Head down here to your right. Also, if you pause the menu, then you get to see where he's actually going. Come away! I don't like dealing with you guys or you guys. Come away! Alright, so, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go after the high beam. I mean, no, 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 not high beam. I mean high jump. My bad. And no, there's no spring ball in this game either, in case you're wondering. This spring ball only exists in the uh, uh, Metroid 2 or in the game I'll be playing for you guys is AM2R. Okay, so there's nothing over here on the right side. Like the map uh, stores a little corner saying that there's nothing over here. So just head, keep heading in this direction. So, okay, I got everything I needed around here, so we're gonna head back out where I came from. Alright. Oh, yeah, you, gotta, you, you just gotta love the way how uh, they spazzing out completely, even if you just took away the platforms like that. God damn it. Come on. Alright, head up here. Jump up. Alright, next, uh, head over this direction. I'm gonna head back where you came from, where you start off with the entrance. Hopefully I don't die along the way, cause like, it happens a lot when I was test playing it. Cause like, even though I don't have the barrier suit on me, it says I'll make my way to the area as best as possible to uh, navigate my way around. I don't know why the game keeps out making me press the bomb multiple times as possible. I don't know, like, this could be the setting of the uh, emulator I'm using, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Yeah, here. Alright, we're good. And then, um, let me see here. Once I get the high beam, a uh, high jump, I'm gonna try to make my way back uh, for the very suit, because the very suit very helps out. Again, like, it takes away 50% of your health damage every time you take it or you receive it from the enemy. And, uh, I'd rather not take that many damage from, from all for the enemy, so I just, uh, take half of that off of me to make my journey a lot easier. 
I remember when I uh, played this game for the first time, I died a lot. I'm not gonna lie there, I legit died a lot in this game. So, that's why it's very important to practice, folks. It's like, if you don't practice, then, yeah, you're gonna lose a lot. And people, to those who are veterans in the Metroid series, says, and played this game before, and they see you slacking off or not being good at it, or you die constantly, then they're gonna lose interest in watching your gameplay. So that's why I wanna actually be good at the game. It's like, be good, get good, Arnster. So I, I wanna enjoy myself. Like, also, I wanna enjoy my videos too. Like, um, every time when I finish um, making my videos and upload to YouTube, and the next thing you know, so people, I like to see how I do it. I, I like to make fun of myself when I play my games. Such, you wanna come here next, head down to the left. Yeah, like I was confused on how do you get over this spot uh, the first time. I was like, how do you fucking do this? And I, you know, I said, um, this should happen. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I don't know why you can't recover your energy every time you fall in a lava pit like that. Like, you have your invincibility on you, but you still take damage. But it makes you transparent to the items you want to pick up for a healthy unit. Okay. So every time when I get the second ice beam and such on me, then uh, it'll allow me to keep carry the ice beam effect with me from all advantage against uh enemies like for example i'm gonna pick up the wave beam right but if you pick up one ice beam if you don't pick up the second one right here then next thing you know the the ice beam um well effect or uh, would be gone fuck me oh god oh, i hate this part i always hate this spot that was never my favorite spot Okay, that's also some fake lavas all down below you and says, but there's nothing down here all to begin with, so I don't want to worry about it too much. So I'm gonna get, keep jumping up until I get up. Alright, go. Alright, keep going. Keep going. Ow. That's not what I do. I gotta make uh, past these guys because screw them. Plus, I need some energy! Oh god. That's all I want. Get me out of there! Oh my god, no! Get, get me out! Fuck! I want to hide! Yeah! Shit! It won't let me jump up! I'm dead. Oh, I hate that. I'm dead. I hate that! It's like, whenever you fall in the lava like that, it just, oh, uh, forces you down there. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll get back to that spot. So Cut! Okay, I made it back to the spot, thankfully. This fucking uh, bubble fucking I don't know what they are. I keep forgetting what they are called, but who cares? They're just little uh don't fireball bastards. Anyway, I made it back to the spot, so heading this direction allows me to get the missiles, I believe. So I just recently beat the game, but like I just keep forgetting on uh, what am I gonna be picking up. Okay, yeah, it leads me to the missile. <coughs> Actually, I, it may lead to three missiles, the more I think about it. Okay, here's another one here. So I just want to show you the proper guide on how to get to one spot to another, instead of just you all uh, being confused on how to play this game, it says, because like, this game does get, get really annoying and confusing. Like, you may think, oh, I've been to this spot already. Like, no, you haven't. The map says otherwise, because like, uh, it leads you to somewhere else. Okay, it leads you to two missiles here in that room. And there's no way for you to get up to that upper route, too, unless you know how to get up there properly. Well, actually, you can get up here if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to show you a way how to get them. Like, if you want to uh, figure out a way how to navigate your uh, your uh, place, just uh, get the items along the way, then just navigate your way through. Okay. Now. And then there's one more on the far left. Hey, get out here. And then now we got that done. Then uh, we can go down to the right and head down to the far on the bottom right. Because um, <clears throat> heading to the bottom right, it leads you to an alternate route that you had to bomb your way through with the bombs. So get the bomb first. And then get your ice beam, and then later get the long beam, make it right around, get the high jump as you get the missiles. Or, no, no, like, 
Yeah, you know what? I, I'm fucking confusing myself too. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Oh, before I even go to the bottom right, let's head that to the left. This one leads you to the missile, and after that, that there's nothing else in the end. Alright. Ow. I hate these guys. Wait, is it this is Lisa to the missile? I just recent, recently beat this game and I forgot already. Oh yeah, and I also uh, when I first played that I thought it was gonna be a dead end right there. I was like, what the fuck? God fuck! Shit. Okay, good, good. Alright. Come across there. You had to be in a morphologist to go across this little tunnel right here. Realistically speaking, I will never do that in real life because I'm claustrophobic. I I hate going in tiny spots. I really do. Okay. Shit. So I want to make a uh, platform for me to get up here. Oh, it's, uh, it's going to be hard for me to get around places. Yeah, th this one leads to a missile. I may have to do it on purpose because, like, it'll be a shortcut for me to actually get around uh, to the this area. Because, like, the thing is, like, if you die, you start off before you load it up. And, like, you go to the elevator or, or when you start to the very beginning of the game. That'll allow me to do that easily. Okay, there's nothing over here. I was over checking. But first, before I even bother dying, killing myself in this game, I'm gonna get myself the high jump. I need the high jump. It's very crucial for me to get that uh, for me in this version. Well, in this a HD version, because like, again, I don't know how to do the bomb jump properly for this HD version, because every time I try doing it normally, the game is not allowing me to do that at all. It gives me to place two or three bombs at once. I don't know why, it just does that. So I'm gonna just do, do it a normal way, like what you call it, the game telling you to do. So, so as soon as I get my high jump in this game, I'm gonna try to navigate my way through this area, and hopefully I don't I'll die immediately before I get the high jump. I want the high jump. I, I really need the high jump. Oh gosh, shit! God damn it! Oh my lord! No, not yet, not yet, not yet! I can't die yet. <coughs> so okay, now I got that room taken care of. I head down to the right, bump this, head down, press and repeat. Okay, drop down. Uh, the path keeps going down, so I'm gonna head this direction. This one leads to a high jump, I believe. Cause I don't know how to reset this game myself, but uh, with the uh, control uh, input. So I'm gonna just gonna just kill natural. I'll get myself killed naturally. So this one enabled my high jump ability. Okay, let's see here. Head down to this direction. Alright. Now, now I got my pathway, I'm gonna kill myself. Reason why, because like, it's basically a shortcut for me to get around places. Because was um, when it comes to me having a various suit on me, it said it just reduces damage. So now I got myself killed legitimately. I'm gonna go ahead and back up. Cause like um, I want I don't want to be navigating my way through the long way to say oh I'm gonna uh do things a hard way then all of a sudden it's gonna take me much longer for me to get to one place to another. So I'm gonna just take a shortcut for doing this. So I'm gonna head back to the spot where I got my missile and energy tank uh, along the way for the upper section. Ah, come with me. I can just freeze you guys in, pro in the process and be done with it. Get away from me. Nope. Nope. Okay. Ah, fuck. 
wrong. Every time I had to jump these guys and such, uh, the one from above was gonna get me when you least suspect it. Uh, so, you can't do anything about that. Unless you know how to just stop every single time just to uh, get yourself hit or just uh, attack the enemy and such. I just gotta keep moving. I'm not gonna make a world record for the speedrun this uh, gameplay, but I just gotta give up the best performance for my audience. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Alright. Keep going up, Armster. Keep going up, boy boy. Unfortunately, you can't kill these guys. They're practically invincible. Except for the purple ones. You can kill them, but... Uh, these guys? No, you can't kill them. I tried multiple times. Even with a bomb inside, it doesn't work. Alright, next we're gonna head down to the right. Again, this game gets really confusing to navigate, is that? Which is understandable. That's why I'm showing you guys how to play the game. While well, I'm trying to entertain you guys. But the Armster is here to entertain and educate. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the platform will be up here. Since I have the high jump, I'm gonna just take advantage of this. Now we got that taken care of. Move on to the right. And then, uh, head up here. Yeah, I don't know how to make that monster, uh, just, uh, that, uh, make it up here, because, like, otherwise if I could, I could have done that. Also, you gotta watch out for the platform before you, because, like, otherwise, oh, you're gonna get stuck in the process. Okay, got it. We're good. Hey, that takes care of that little problem. Okay. Come on. It gets annoying when you deal with these guys. Okay, it takes care of that. And here we go, very soon. Change the color scum palettes. Is that so sort of like will you get that version when you play the record nest version of the game? All of a sudden, the color, uh, the color palette, palette from the game, it, it changed it from her to being yellow to pink as a light color and such. But in this version, it just gave you the orange on default very suit outfit. So it makes sense that you give her that outfit. And then, um, not only that, like, uh, when you play the original uh, NES version of the game, it's like, uh, they kept her armor look like she's wearing a, a power suit, a legit power suit. But then later on, they changed it up for their uh, uh, character design for whenever she picks up the berry suit. All of a sudden, she gets uh, some big ass soldiers around her uh, body just to uh, make it more iconic. And you'll be seeing Samus as he is now for later games in the future. So it's always good to know that that little detail of the game is actually pretty cool. Okay, so. <coughs> Okay, now we go back to uh, Norfair once again, and this time I should be good to go with my hit points because I take 50% uh, off of my damage. It reduces off that 50%, and just head down to that little area. Yeah, you can hear my bird flapping her wings because she's just exercising right now. Even I had the cage open, she can fly around anytime she wants, but she decided to stick around her cage because like, that's her safe haven. She can do what she like. I gotta watch out for falling into lava, cause like, every time I fall into lava, I get stuck there. You saw that uh, happen earlier when I died now, uh, with the lava pit area, when that stupid fireball orbs uh, knocked me down. I couldn't get out of it. Alright, so we're gonna head back down. Head back to the spot where I got the high jump, and then... Woo! <clears throat> After that's done, then I'm gonna make my way down to Ridley. Cause like, I want to try to get this done as mess as best as possible, as much as possible. Cause like, I want to remember how to beat this game legitimately, and I don't want to forget where I'm gone. <laughs> Cause like, I will forget where I'm gone.
Shit. Okay, we're good. So, we're gonna continue heading to the right. <clears throat> Had to cut our throat. And then head down to the bottom right, as usual. down to the left. It leads me to the uh, high jump area and I'm gonna continue going to that spot because like there's some items I like to get I like to get on the way like extra missiles, some energy tank, and we should be good on uh, the fight against Ridley. Navigating your way through Ridley can be a little bit finicky. Reason why because you have to see for yourself like there's gonna be some trap floors you have to be careful for it uh, when you drop down. I hate getting caught in the trap floor because every time that happens, then next thing you know, I won't be able to get my way, uh, find my way back up. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, I hate getting fought in the lava. Thankfully, the uh, the hit points um, for the lava doesn't take much damage on me compared to the power suit. So just uh, just give me the uh, fairy suit, and I'll, I'll be dead. Call it a day. I highly be, uh, recommend you be careful around here because, like, every time you jump across the spot, you can even fall in the lava pit if you're not careful. I did that multiple times in the past, especially with the stupid lava seahorse there. Then, yeah, you most likely fall down there if you're not careful. Okay. Alright. What the hell? What the hell is. Oh, uh, freeze. Whatever. I don't know what the hell I freeze there. I'll worry about going down there later, cause like, um, that was just, uh, lead me to a uh, lower- Actually, the more I think about it, I should do that. Cause like, it's gonna take me the opposite route I need to go to. Okay, come across here, you wanna go after the mouse. And you're gonna meet yourself the- You're gonna meet the, uh, screw attack. Cause like, the lower route, I just ignore it, I'm gonna go back to it later on. It leads me to the energy tank. So I need to come back here, or go back there. Uh, you see what I mean? That's what I mean. So you guys have a screw attack. Screw attack allows you to defend yourself uh, from enemies who are born. Like every time you jump in the air, those who play Metroid series you get to see stuff like this, and yes, it instantly kills them when you suspect it. So I know how to play this game. I know how to do it. <laughs> I practice. I practice, folks. I practice a lot. I only do it to entertain my audience as best as possible. Alright. So we're gonna head down here next. Head down on right afterwards. Cause like we're gonna make our way back to the opposite direction later on. So once you make your way through this area to the right, it's gonna lead you to the energy tank, if I believe correctly. So this is basically a faster way for you to go out to this spot. Cause like it's gonna be nothing there all after you're done with the spot, regardless. Ow. Okay. Across there. I'm basically teaching my future self how to play this game again. Cause like I will forget how to play it. It's like, oh, how do you beat this game? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, let's watch some of my old videos. That way I can actually educate myself for this little moment. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, I know what to do, folks. There are other people who play the game uh, normally. Like, uh, I've seen there are other people playing Metroid games um, without no commentary, it says. It's interesting how you can do that, but it's boring to me, though, because, like, they don't make things entertaining. Because, like, they just show you the long path, the long way, and it gets really boring to watch them play the game multiple times like that in a boring way as possible. So, I like to keep things entertaining for all of us. Okay, so head to the left here, leads you to the engine. No, 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 wait. Is this a weight beam or anything? I keep forgetting. I will know for sure once we get up this little spot. Yeah, it's an energy tank. Anyway, I was thinking about something else. My bad. I was thinking about the, the lower route that I gotta go to in the future because, like, the lower route leads you to a wave beam. I was thinking about that. Okay, this one leads you to an energy tank, so that's what I need to do. Okay, I was right. So it did lead me to an energy tank. So I, I forgot. I just temporarily forgot. It's like, you oh, trying to remember everything you're trying to do with this one friend, and all of a sudden you found it forget Seth and saying, Oh, did this happen? Oh, like, oh no, it goes right here. But this happens, then you go there and get that. Alright, cross here. 
And then later on, after you get done with that spot, then head down to the far left. Because like, after I'm done with this game, I'm going to uh, practice a uh, Met Metroid Sewer mission afterwards. So I can actually get all the uh, weapons and items along the way. Because I will forget again. And actually, there's some other game I need to play for my channel as well, because like I want to get that done. Because like I'm over here playing this game, but uh, it's, it's taking me fucking forever to get to this uh, true all uh, boss rush in this area. It's basically similar to Kirby, the way how they added in. I love that game, by the way. Um, but the anime game I'm playing right now, you have to I'll wait for it until later in the future. So anyway, after that's done, then I'm gonna practice on uh, Metroid Zero Mission. I'm gonna get that done along the way. That's uh. It's like, basically, I want to prioritize what needs to be taken care of. I want to prioritize that, um, that needs to be finished. And then, once I get that taken care of for what I'm finished later in the future, then I don't have to worry about playing the game in the future anymore, because, like, I'm done with it. I'm done with work. All I gotta do is just, like, edit the video, and let's call it a day. <laughs> it's, like, very, very easy. Like, I have to admit, though, like, recording can be exhausting. It will get exhausting. So this will lead you to a fake a lava flow, right? You want to head down here. You gotta keep your, uh, keep this in mind that when you play this game in a, ser a series, then just focus on where you need to go to. There's nothing else down but on the bottom left is uh, empty there. So trust me when I say this, folks. It's uh, nothing down there in the lava. All right. Get over here. Stupid seahorse, fuck you. Okay. Uh, there's nothing above you to, to worry about, but you want to head down to the lower section here. I forgot what this leads to. <clears throat> oh wait, I think this one leads to some missiles. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything else in the far right. I'm gonna double check that just in case. Cause like, uh, you can easily miss it. Oh wait, there are some missiles. Never mind. It's always good to double check, folks. It's like, okay, that that's it. That's all the that areas there. It's always good to double check for what you're gonna come across. Cause like, um. If you don't explore every little place that you want to go to, every nooks and cranny, then yes, you will miss the items you're going to need in order to progress the rest of the game. And yes, like, you're going to need shit tons of missiles to defeat Mother Brain. Like, uh, a minimum amount of missiles in that uh, fight is going to be a pain in the ass. Like, what happens is that if you died against Mother Brain, you don't have to worry about uh, blasting through the uh, blast doors along the way. Like, the one you destroyed, and also the barrier that you destroyed to get to Mother Brain, will be gone. So you don't have to worry about doing that kind of shit. Okay, five, go. God damn it. One, two, three, four, five. God damn it. One, two, three, four. Here. I want to do that. It's like, it takes at least five or six seconds to... Get a little bit. Count up to five seconds and then jump up on the six seconds of the part and you'll be good. You, you gotta be careful around this spot, folks, because, like, what happens is if you end up falling down there, you can easily fall down to the lava pit and you will have a hard time to get out there. The best way to get yourself out, from my own personal experience, is use a uh, plant a bomb on the ground if you can, and then later on just get back on the uh, morph ball uh, uh, form and get yourself out of it. This one leads you to the uh, wave beam, I believe. Yeah, this one leads you to a wave beam. But I was trying to remember, thing. oh, this one leads to this one. Oh, no, it leads to that one. No. This one, <clears throat> this one leads you to a wave beam, period. There we are. So remember I say if you get two ice beam on you, it says the first ice beam, it ain't going to allow you to use a wave beam at all. But if you get the second one, you can use a wave beam with ice beam effect. So I'd rather get two of them and be done with it. Along with that, the, the long beam? Yes, yeah, um, without the long beam, the, uh, the wave beam won't go any far distance unless you want to. So you need to have the long beam equipped on you, so you can actually get around places uh, much faster and easier. Okay. Alright. Uh, head down to the right. 
I think I suck about, uh, about this I, uh, uh, vaping because like every time you destroy all these piles of uh, blocks for some reason, it won't allow me to destroy anymore until they regenerate. I hate that. Okay. They can only uh, appear after you get uh, this exposed. Like as soon as they reappear, then you can actually destroy more along the way, but you can't destroy all of them at once like that. So that's why I had to be very careful and patient with how I do it. God damn it. Ah, fuck! Okay. Be very careful around these spots, too, because, like, this is the one I usually fall in there like an idiot. Um, by accident. Um, is there. Aren't there, like, any more energy tank along the right side? Nah. I don't think so. That's, that's basically it. I think that's all the areas I can explore this spot. Gotta be very careful not to fall in the lava pit in between the gap right here, cause like, no, fuck, I hate this one. Okay. Okay, this is a good opportunity for me to show this part off if I could. Okay. Come on. Here we are. So if you can use a cotton in a lava pit like that, that's a good example. Fuck that little fart. Actually, kill that thing. That's the one that caused me the trouble in the first place. If you can use a cotton in the pit like that, just use that uh, a strategy to your advantage to get yourself out of there. That way you don't worry about getting stuck there anymore. I always hate that spot though, because like that was always caused me the most problem. Especially with that stupid orb a monster just shows up on nowhere and knocks you into a lava pit like that, then it's hard for you to get yourself out of it. Especially if you have your fairy suit on you. The, the damage was gonna take a uh, slow ass time for you to uh, receive extra damage if you're playing the game, a game over. It's hard for you to get yourself out of it, so. Especially if the game's lag is still fucking much, because like all the textures is going all at once like this. So, this prior attention, I'll make some uh, strategy plans on how to get yourself out of it. It's an interesting trick to uh, pull it off if you want to get yourself out of that spot. But, uh, it's a very helpful strategy though. Oh god, no, I'm not falling there again. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck. Great. Give me this on oh, oh missiles. I want the missiles. I won't be using the missiles that much, so uh, unless I fight against uh Mother Brain and uh the Metroids. The Metroids are only uh weak to ice beam and they're weak to missiles. Cause like freeze your ass up and then you be able to uh, blow their ass up completely. Okay, that takes care of you. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. Alright, we're good. Okay, we should be good. Alright. Head to this direction at least allows me to go up if I want to go this way. Jump up. Um, this one, I need to go this way. Oh god. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna make my way around the circle route, like, I went down to the bottom right first, then get the energy tank, and then make my way down to the other side. So, I'm gonna go this way just to make my way through to, uh, the, uh, the exit, cause like, if you try going down to the bottom right section again, then it's just gonna lead you to, uh, the same route that, to a dead end. So, this is where I came from, I went down first, that's why I went to the opposite direction. So there's nothing in that room right here. I got this total of 70 missiles, so I should be good. Alright. Um, let's see here, where's the least two? Okay, so I'm gonna head down to the front right, because it'll lead me to the, uh, the weapons room. Okay. 
fuck. Get out there. You may have given me damage, but fuck you guys. I'd be doing all your bullshit again. Fuck that. Okay. Now we got out of there. I should be good around here. Ow. I'm not good for that. Okay. The whole area that I cleaned up is all good to go. So I'm gonna make my way towards Ridley. Okay, so you wanna head down to Ridley? Head down to the bottom. Of go away, Siri! See? I told you I wasn't fibbing. Like, uh, really, uh, uh, series only came out of nowhere. As soon as I see something that's uh, very similar to her, it says then I was like, boy, she just want to jump into a little conversation and just have fun with me. Alright. Okay, head down to this room, and it'll take you straight to Ridley's hideout. Here we are. So whenever you see the two statues up there like that, that's basically like a level 2 area. Or a level 2 boss. I'm going ahead of stuff like that because I want to get this done over with. Head to the left first. Because <clears throat> like, heading to the left at least you to one of the items along the way. Actually at least you to a missile. And also at least you to an energy tank as well. But you gotta be very careful with your footsteps. The reason why is because like, um... Uh, there's gonna be a trap floor along the way. Ow. <laughs> I got myself caught in a vine. I hate that part. And no, there's no Spider Ball in this game either, because this is a SNES game. NES game. Spy the Spider Ball doesn't exist until you play AM2. No, actually, it doesn't exist until you play Metroid 2. I'm not playing the, um, a retro version of you know, Metroid 2 as such. I'm gonna be playing AM2R. I already got that organized. What's up with the uh, top floor? Trap floor. I can't say the word properly, I don't know why, I just like, I speak it so fast and I just screw it up. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these type of things. The trap floor is gonna screw you over, so it leads you to a dead end, so we're gonna have to make our way back to the area. Okay, get away from me. Fuck. Uh, go away! Ah, <sighs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Okay. Now we just gotta drop down with the bomb. And make it right to the left. So remember, you gotta be very careful with your footsteps. Because, like, there's a one way that you, I didn't know when I first played it. When I first played this game, I didn't know how to make my way to the uh, other side of the door because there's a huge ass uh, wall you can't get yourself up there, and again, there's no spider ball. The best way to get over that spot is to find a little hole right here. Get out of way. And then make your way uh, underneath it. I didn't know that. So I was like saying, how the fuck you get over this ball right here? This is the spot you can't get up there. And no, you can't jump up and turn into a ball like that. It doesn't work that way. I'm sad to say. Okay, so this one leads you to an energy tank, but be careful. Right in front of it, it leads you to the oh, trap floor. I'm not kidding, there's literally a trap floor down there, so you just, um, you gotta be very careful with that. Okay. Around this room, I believe there's nothing in here. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Like, making your way back up here is kind of hard to do so. So I'm gonna just make my way back to the other one. So I'll show you what the top floor looks like. And then along with that spot, it leads you to another room where it's really hard to reach up to. This is the trap floor, by the way. Uh, heading to this direction, it takes you to the missile, but it's really hard for you to reach it. The best way you can do it is try to make a uh, quick run start for that one. But like, if you don't make a quick run start for that part, then next thing you know, you're gonna have a hard time uh, reaching it completely. And no, there's no other way for you to get around that. This is the only way route to get to it, because like, there is another room that leads to it, but it's a, all blocky with a wall, a huge wall. There we go. That's a really hard spot to reach up to if you're not careful. You gotta have a good running start from the door to there. Like, there's no way, other way for you to get across that spot ever. I, I'm not kidding, because like, I tried multiple ways, Oh yeah, fucking trap floor, I forgot about that. This is the wall I'm talking about, this wall right here. 
It's, it's gonna, God damn it! It's gonna keep blocking you all no matter what. There's no way to blow it up at all. So you have to go to the opposite direction in order to get to it. Alright. Now that spot is then taken care of. Head to the right. Wait, 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 wait. What's it? Is it Lisa Ridley? Actually, go back, go back, go back, go back. <clears throat> I believe this spot leads you to Ridley. So if you go this direction to the left. Oh, yeah, I, I believe it leads you to Ridley. I want to go this way. I was thinking about something else. Like, uh, there's another missile on a uh, certain hallway you had to go to. But it's like, uh, it's at the lower section of this area. So that one leads you to Ridley. And then later on, once you get 75 uh, uh, units of missiles on you, after you defeat Ridley. And later on, uh, uh, trade is next. Then afterwards, you're gonna be seeing uh, energy tank along the way. I'll be having a total of six energy tank with me. But the thing is, when it comes to you going after the energy tank in this version, they only give you six. I don't know why. They only give you six for this version. It's stupid, but fuck it. Hey, really, you bastard? You wanna kill off Samus's parents? Well, I'm gonna kill you with this. Use a ray beam for this part, it makes the fight a lot easier. You got to deal with her stupid. Uh, you got to deal with his uh, fire breath or fireballs at you. And plus, uh, every time you attack really like this, your um, energy depletes slowly if you have a fairy suit on you. So just take advantage of what you got on you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The orange um, uh, blast door along the way only goes up to ten missiles. Motherfucker! Watch out for the fake uh, uh, the real lava ahead, cause like the rest of us is fake lava. Go ahead. What am I worrying about collecting these energy units like that? Because the energy tank right here, I'm just uh, restoring my health completely. So even if I do get six total and stuff, there's two more I can get that's basically located in the trade section. You can only get up to six. I don't know why. It just that's the way how they designed it. Uh, uh, the way how they added another texture for the game. So what else can you do? So I'm gonna stick with uh, the six along with it, but I will get the other two uh, energy tank along the way. It is a bit bullshit if I do say so myself, but other than that, it's uh, it's the way how the game, uh, this game was made, it says, and I just had to go along with it, even though I don't like it. Uh, I can't even get it when I'm uh, taking damage like that. Shit. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna head to the right, head to the bottom, and head to the left again. It gets confusing to navigate in this game, I will admit that. Fuck you. Get, get out of my way! Alright. Alright, this is done. Motherfuckers, go away. Oh my god. Get out of it! <coughs> okay, so. Now that's done. Fuck you. I'm gonna keep going to the right. Got that done. Okay. Head down and head to the left. That's what I go to next. That's where the next miss is located at. Can I get this? Alright, I don't know how many misses I got in total, so that's uh, uh, count kind of what I can get. Until I can get, uh, get no more. Here's another shortcut route to take. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, because it's a lot easier to navigate. So I gotta ignore all the enemies that are attacking me like that. Man, they just keep spawning. Shit. So I have a total of 150, or it's gonna be a lot more than that. Okay, I'm 152. 154. Give me more missiles. That's what I'm talking about. And that's it. That's all the areas around here. There's nothing else in the far left. It just leads you to an empty hallway. Don't worry about that spot. It's all done. Ow. Up 
Oh wait, I forgot about this spot too. My bad, I forgot. Okay, 160. Okay, the total 160. Okay, now I can make my way out of here at uh, Vidley's hideout. Because, um, there's nothing else for me to worry about in here. At all. Ow. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's this lead to? That one leads me to the one room I went to earlier. And. And that's also the wall I was telling you about uh, as well. So if you try going to that room and you think you can get the missile, you're fat out of your luck for that one. Because, like, um, uh, the missile is going to be blocked off from the wall. So there's no way you can get it, no matter what you do. There's nothing above me at all. So I was double checking. Like, it's always good to double check. We need to go. Alright. So it's time for me to make our way out of here. It does get a little boring if you uh, uh, stay around too long in this game, which is understandable. That's basically why I practice, because like, it took me at least uh, four, three to four hours to beat this game by looking at the guy, like, looking up on my phone saying, Oh, how do you get this one spot? Like, I'll just check out the map for where I need to go specifically before I go anywhere else. Then all of a sudden I get lost uh, really easily. This game does get really confusing to navigate this area. It really does. Ow. Go away. Alright. God damn it. I wanna do that. Okay. Um make a right on here. Go. Um oh, shit, 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 shit. Go. Come on, come on. So now we can make our way out of here just by climbing up. I gotta double check on my map and see where I need to go next, and so... Okay, I already tried all the ones I wanna go to, so I'm good. Cause I will get lost easily and I just don't know where the hell I'm going afterwards, so thank god for the map system in the game. Cause otherwise if I don't know where I'm going specifically, then I'm gonna get lost 100%. Alright. Shit. Alright. I know I counted too early, it says, but whatever. It's like, um, I'm trying to make our way back up without all uh, wasting extra time like that. Get there. I mean, there are some glitches in this game that you could play for yourself, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna play the game legitimately. Like, uh, I don't know how to do the glitches for this version of HD Edition, so I'm not gonna do that at all. Because, uh, like, there are other people who don't know how to do glitches himself, which is understandable, because, like, if you try to uh, do with the speedrun route, and you just want to beat this game as fast as possible, and also you try to get this item as quickly as possible, it says, and other people who want to try this stuff out as well, but afterwards, if, uh, they can't do the speedrun method like how any other speedruns can do for glitching their way around this area, then all of a sudden, the uh, people's going to get frustrated saying, how do you do this? Like, um... Get good. <laughs> that's all I can say. Like that's all they're gonna say is like get good. Like there are other people's not guaranteeing to play this game or uh, speedrun method like that. So just give them a little simple method to teach them how to play the game normally, and then they'll just follow up along the way. It's like oh, it makes sense now. I, I like that. Cause I've seen a lot of people who try to explain things and just don't fucking do a good job explaining at all. Like sometimes I don't do a good job explaining stuff to to my audience. I will admit that. But uh, I do the best I can to explain to the audience as, as fun as possible, as best as possible, so that way you can actually get into the series as much as possible. Great. Okay. And then afterwards, uh, when they actually enjoy the content that they um, they watch, then all of a sudden they're going to say, Oh, I appreciate your uh, gameplay method. I, I appreciate the tutorials. That I have fun with this game. And like, thank you for all that stuff you've shown to the audience. It's, like, it's really a great experience to enjoy you. 
your uh, company and having fun with your work. It's like, I appreciate your compliment and I'll be looking forward to watching my next uh, content feature work. So, yeah, I'll just make everything work for everybody. I like the way how they change it from uh, blue to orange like that when you go to one specific spot. I like that. That's not a really cool detail the more you think about it. <clears throat> okay, next we're going after Kraid. Again, I don't know how long I've been playing this game. I'm just gonna try to get this done as fast as possible. And also, if you beat this game as fast as possible, like at least under three hours or such, um, I think I can beat it up to under two hours. But if you beat it fast, on uh, the game fast enough, you get you rewarded with uh, Samus in her serious suit armor, or such or Samus serious suit outfit. Cause like when I first played it, I got her helmet off. That's, uh, that's how I won. But uh, other than that, when it comes to uh, playing it the second time, it's that then her suit came off. So I'm going to be getting that part. There you go. And there's also a special reward, like those who got a good glimpse of it for what the hell, hell happened. Then um, you can just do that. Alright. Alright, now this one leads to Kraid. Okay, head to the right first. Be done with that. It's like um, this one will lead you to the energy, not the energy. I was about to say energy. That's like on the next floor. This one uh, will take you to the missile, and you're done. Cause like get the hell out of there. Cause like what happens is that if you keep going to the right, it leads you to three hallways along the way, but it leads you to nothing at all. It's like there's no point for you to worry about that spot regardless. So there's no. So there's nothing over there to the right, just head on over to the area, cause like, it's gonna take me back to where I need to go to. Okay. Like this. Oh wait, I forgot about that. I was thinking like, oh, you need to get up to the high spot, like, no, so you get to go over here, stupid. Okay. Okay, get this out the way. And then we're gonna head down to the next one to the left and head down. Dead bugs. Okay, I got the 170 in total. This one, I believe, uh, leads you to the lower section I need to go to later in the future. I'll worry about that later, but I'll worry about going to that spot uh, afterwards. Like, maybe just get down with this one section here. Yeah, it leads me to the secret floor down below later on, so I gotta worry about that. Head to the right, and then um, make a way to the other side of the blast door with the. Um, Five missiles in the face. Head to this room. One, two, three, four, five. Get down. And then after you're done with that, then get this done. Alright. And it just released it to an uh, energy tank. I can take a little damage because I can have recover for that. So this is the seventh one. So even if I recover myself completely, then I, I'm still going to have six energy take on me regardless, no matter what I do. So there's no point for you to worry about that at all. Hopefully I can get this time. But like, head to the lower route leads no, you to nowhere. Shit. There you go. I had a hard time getting out here on my third round. Because, like, the Dolora spot down there at leads you to nowhere. And, yes, like, when I first played it, I just don't know how to get around that spot. I just know, don't know how to navigate this area at all. So, it took me a while to figure that part out. Okay, so, what you want to do next is head down to the right, bottom right. Because, uh, this one leads you to Kraid. Oh, shit, huh? You want to actually uh, freeze that enemy for your personal platform. Uh, if you don't do that, then it's going to be hard for you to navigate this spot easily. So I highly recommend you get the Ice Beam with you at all costs. Because like, the Ice Beam is, helps you to go out to the bosses to uh, really and create along the way. Thankfully, on, on Metroid Zero Mission, they made the, made the game a slightly little bit easier. 
Except for collecting items, so though. There's some plots that's gonna be a little annoying to put up with it. And yeah, at least uh, it'll be fun in a gameplay series. Okay, head to the left. Oh shit, that was a close one. Okay, so head to the left. And that will lead you to another missile. I think it leads you to two missiles. I'm trying to remember. Cause I, I figure way too easily. But damn, these fucking bugs just spawn everywhere. Okay, never mind. There's nothing else in here. Look at that. These guys just spawn everywhere. Sorry. Ow. Yes, I'm not kidding. Uh, every time you go through the doorway and you can't defend yourself while you go in that transition, you're gonna get hurt. This one leads to uh, Crane, I believe. You see that or something else? I forget. Let me get uh, gather a lot as many misses as possible. Yeah, this one leads to Crane. I was right. Ow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna kill uh, Crane with this one. Crane is nearly the same size as uh, Samus. That's actually pretty funny when you think about it. Let's attack him. And the map said this is where the energy tank is located, so I got 75 more uh, uh, missile units along the way. But I know some of you guys are asking, where's the energy tank, Armster? It's right here. And believe me, I had a hard time going after this energy tank as myself when I was playing this the first time. It's like, or actually, it was the second round. Like, I was trying to go after it, but I can't even reach it. The game will let, let me get it. Cause like, I was trying to go to the one platform where Craig was at. And I'll say it wouldn't let me get up there immediately. I was like, what the hell? So I want to see how many uh, misses I got on me. Oh, shit. I think I got two, oh, 250 missiles before I think about it. Ow. I hate that. Oh, God. Shit, 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 I hate that, I hate that. This is gonna be a little annoying, because you have to do this in order to get to the upper section. I wish I could do a wall jump, but there's no wall jump in this game at all. Only in, like, oh, uh, when you play the Femme game, aim 2 r God damn it, I fucking hate this spot! Like, oh, uh, when you play aim 2 r and says they allow you to do a wall jump. I'm an I'm a expert for that part. Get up there. That's what you gotta do. You gotta wait for a few seconds for the uh, platform to reappear, it says, before you, uh, they disappear on you. Or, it's like, it's hard for you to get up here. Alright, get up there. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, fuck you. Oh, Lord. No! Get me out of here. Alright. Oh, okay. That's done. Okay, so I'm guessing I got 250 oh, missile on me. Completely. So if that's the case, then I got one more missile to go after, and oh, we're done. Let me see if I can find uh, another missile along the way. Ow. Alright, yep. So I need one more. I know I, I find the last one. It's that one little spot um, from earlier. I need to make my way over to that spot and then uh, head back up. And then uh, I'm gonna drop down to this uh, secret spot. Shit. Alright, so, it's not here, you're gonna drop down, it says there's no way for you to get down there. You just climb your way up, and then head down to the next room, to the right. And then you head back up, and then head to the left again, and we get one more missile. Oh, 
Alright. Now that that's done, head to the left. You wanna head this way. Again. Alright. So, later on, we're gonna be dropping down to the fake lava pit along the way, and, um, later on, once that's done, then you don't have to worry about this shit no more. Feel like that's gonna be the last missile located in that spot. But also, I'm gonna be showing off the mini crate. So, here's the fake lava right here. Drop down. Woo! There you go. And around here, at least you to the fake uh, mini crate down there below us. But I'm gonna, not gonna do that yet. But like, there's nothing else down below you besides the uh, mini crate. So, I'm gonna go after the bottom missiles one the way. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck you. Ow. Am I? And that's it. That's the last missile t oh, capacity right here. Ow. That's screwed me over. So basically, in this version, you can only carry up to six energy uh, uh, tank units. So that's some bullshit right there. Because I already, I clearly got all of them. But like, this should have been like two more in reserve. But apparently, the game's not giving that option. It's like saying, nope, you're gonna be sick with six if you like it or not. So here's Mini Crave right here. What's up? I carry your daddy. That's how you gotta do it. Just shoot a little missile and you're good. Well, Crater would have been pissed off if he was still alive, but I killed his ass. Fuck him. Okay. So, this is the hallway that leads you to all uh, mini Crater sets. But uh, I already took care of him earlier. From above, there's nothing else up there besides the regular missile capacity set, so I'm done collecting everything. Now I, uh, I'm gonna go after uh, Mother Brain herself. Mother Brain is the one that's causing the havoc on uh, Planet 7. It's cause like, you actually your main objective, like you already seen the beginning of the title of the game, of the beginning of this episode. Basically, uh, that one leads to Devil Hallway by the way. It's like, uh, it's like basically what happens that the space pirates came down to this planet Zavis and invaded the planet completely. Yeah, uh, then all of a sudden, before I forgot to mention that, like before you even know it, uh, Mother Brain has been corrected by the space pirates and all of a sudden had those creatures known as the Metroids to uh, just uh, manipulate the planet with uh, their invasion. Shit. Like if they want to conquer the galaxy and such, then uh, the Metroids. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna be their stronghold for defending themselves and huge threat to the galactic community. Such. So, that's why Samus was sent here to, uh, to eradicate uh, uh, Ridley, Trade, and uh, Mother Brain along the way. And also, we're sent here to eradicate the Metroid we're at it. Okay, good. It only takes like two bombs for me to get out there. I'm gonna try to get up here safely. But, like, this is the fastest way for me to get up here. I said just uh, do things the long way. But like, you could go take the long hallway along the way and just uh, make your way through. Just try to just do one shot of the wave beam or ice beam along with it, and you should be good. Okay, right, we're done with this area. We're completely done. Alright, time for her to make our exit. Alright, now that's done, let's go face Mother Brain. All I need to do is keep going up. Go ahead. Alright. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <coughs> Alright, we're good. We're done, folks. 
All that's left is uh, collecting everything in this game, and well, we already got everything. We just gotta confront Mother Brain and be done. That's the last part of the game. This game gets really confusing the first time you play it. I will admit that, especially if you play with the 8-bit version of it. The the background is very boring as shit, as black as it can get, as by uh, cover screen and such. And also when you play, um, then when you play the other Metroid games and such, like Metroid's your um, mission, it's actually a lot easier to get into it. Cause like the mechanic is similar to the one you're playing here, but it's adding like a wall jump and hard grip and all that all special ability and such in the game. So for the next let's play we're going to be doing for this series is I'm going to be playing Metroid Zero Mission and then afterwards I'm going to be playing AM2R in a hard difficulty and then I'm also going to be playing uh, AM2R uh, Fusion Mode. Okay, I already went here. I need to go the upper route. So, uh, for Fusion Mode, uh, it's really actually pretty interesting to get into. It's like... Uh, it's like you play Samus Return, uh, Metroid 2 Samus Return for, for the 3DS. The only way you can unlock the uh, fusion mode, which is fucking stupid, is you have to get the amiibo for you to unlock it. Again, it's fucking stupid how they did that, but um, you want to make profit out of people on that, which is bullshit. I hate the idea how Nintendo came up with that stupid um, idea for it to make profit out of people for in order for you to unlock the game. I don't agree with the idea. That's how you say you go against their ideas. It's so stupid. I'm just saying it because I'm just being real honest with you guys. By the way, like, if you don't defeat Kraid and Ridley, then also you ain't gonna get here at all. Alright. You gotta watch out for the Metroids. Let me tell you more about Metroids. Because Metroids, back in SR388, that's where they were originally created from. And they were created by the Chozos. Also, they, they actually come back with a creature known as the X-Parasite. Because like, the X-Parasite, they're capable of, uh, of stealing the host of the, uh, of the prey that they steal from by uh, absorbing their body. And then later on, before you even know it, uh, they can either eat them out from inside out. Even in the manga mentioned it themselves, like they, they call themselves the X-Parasite. That um, uh, after they uh, absorb your DNA, he says, uh, and kill you completely, then all of a sudden, um, they, hold on a second. One, two. Okay, so basically the X-Parasite can mimic their prey at will. And like, they absorb their memories and DNA for their whole success and just use it for their own ability, their own purpose. So every time they get defeated by a stronger prey and such, but, uh, uh, oh, fuck. I can get them off me. Get off me! Gah, fuck! I hate when they do that. They latch onto you and it's hard for you to get them all. Like, basically, uh, the Metroids, um, are really the latch onto the enemies. That. So, basically, what happened is that the Chozo, of the, the bird race, they basically created the Metroids uh, for the purpose to defend them against the X-Parasites. That was their main purpose. That, uh, that was on, uh, SR388. And then, uh, before you even know it, uh, uh, the Metroids are capable of evolving on that planet. They were not expecting to evolve at all. They, must, they were saying by theory that the, the in the Metroid 2 Samus Return, there's this energy called Aeon Energy, right? So basically they uh, attack the enemies and praise and absorb their energy regardless. But the next thing you know, the... Um, shit. The uh, Metroids... Uh, uh, we see the Aeon energy that allows them to adapt. So like special genetics that allows them to evolve into a higher being of Metroids and they are fucking hard to deal with. They are legit pain uh, powerful to, uh, to put up with in that uh, series of Metroid 2. The AM2 war uh, shows that little uh, special case of how difficult these guys can be. It's like it's ridiculously hard. And especially when you all uh, uh, deal with the uh, original Metroid 2 says they're just a uh, fucking pain in the ass. The only way to kill them, uh, it, the only way to kill those Metroids is uh, you attacking with the missiles. It says like there's uh, nothing else you could do against them uh, for you to defend yourself. Okay, let me get this. By the way, you don't have to worry about attacking these guys. Um, you don't have to worry about attacking them at all. Uh, you can actually get past them. 
at real life you want to be done with that part. But other than that, like, when you play Metroid Zero Mission, you have to kill them. It could, like, um... Uh, like, otherwise, if you don't kill them, then the game's not going to pro uh, progress further in, uh, if you want to. Well, aren't they? They're an endangered species. Fuck them. They're going to try to kill me. Okay, so now we got that taken care of. You can actually skip past this one. Unless it decides to fly out. It only takes like five shots for you to take out the Ventrice instead of the missile. Like I said earlier before, like if you die to Mother Brain or this area, then next thing you know, the berries you see here. They won't be there anymore after uh, you take them out the first time. So they don't reappear, thankfully. Because, like, I remember the last time I died here and I had to start over. Next thing you know, uh, these barriers are pretty much gone. I gotta deal with these stupid uh, energy shots, though. It's gonna be annoying. are all energy shots, but fuck it. Oh yeah, by the way, after I defeat Ridley, um, how about say Ridley? After I defeat Mother Brain, I highly recommend you cover your eyes, folks, because it's gonna get really flashy. I'm not kidding. This is gonna get really flashy. Alright, I'm gonna try to shoot him in uh, as close way as possible. God damn it. And try not to touch uh, Mother Brain when we're at it. Because, like, otherwise, if you touch Mother Brain yourself, you, you gotta actually take a lot of damage. Get out there, Samus. Get out there! Okay, get out there. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh god, you gotta be kidding me. Not like this, not like this! Oh my god! Not like this. I almost got her! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! Ah! Damn it! I'll be right back! My advice is you watch out for, oh, Kraid. I mean, another brain. Oh, I made it back to the spot. Fuck. Ah, I fucking hate the laser shots. Damn it. Fuck. I don't have enough miss missile on me. Shit. I might as well save the little spot right there and just try not to, uh, to die. You're gonna need shit tons of missile to take out all uh, Mother Brain. God damn it! I'm trying to get these stupid energy beams away from me like that. Come on. I'm trying to use as much missiles I got on me. Alright, I'm gonna try to clear out the way from the shots. You always shoot like three at a time for some reason. Shit. I don't want to shoot John two missiles on uh, energy shot like that. That's gonna like fuck me over. Okay. There we are. That's what I want to do. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Hey, get me back to that spot. Okay. God damn it. I 
really want to get this part done. Okay. Damn it! Okay, good. Gotta keep those things at bay. There we go. Cover your eyes, folks! Oh! Whew, I had to cover my eyes. And now we make our escape. I shouldn't have died there earlier. That was, that was fucking dumb. But you have to understand though, those those fucking energy wall, walls like that, annoying as hell. Really annoying. Oh shit. Get up there. Okay, we're good. Just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing. This is iconic music though, by the way. I love this music. I love this music. It's my favorite music of all time. And now we made our escape. We're done. Oh, finally. Success. Mother Brain is no more. Service is safe thanks to you. The galaxy owes you is eternal gratitude. The Metroid thre the threat is over. You go. I love the detail they added to this little all, all structure right here. And with that, I guess their suit is Samus on me. Yep. It was basically everybody's shocked when they found out it was a woman. It's understandable, because if we expected a man to do the job, but also it turns out to be a woman, a hot sexy woman. Like, wow. A woman? That's basically a strong uh, female uh, warrior right here. That's a strong, independent woman that you can actually appreciate. A very good female woman, by the way, the more you think about it. Because, like, I like the idea that they actually uh, fooled the audience at that saying that there's a man doing the work and shit like that. But I was like, no, let's make it a female. Because, like, uh, we've been seeing females uh, being degra uh, uh, degraded and being rejected multiple times in the past. And so, but right now, we show the strong female role model right here. All of a sudden, it was uh, encouraged the women everywhere to become strong role models themselves, like, become the strong independent women. I appreciate that very much. Because, like, we're all equal, like, both men and women are equal, all races are equal, it's like, it doesn't matter what race you are, it's like, what matter is that we live in the same world, and we want to live in a uh, positive future for all of us, stuff that's something we've been having in our world nowadays, it's like, we want to live in a happier, abundance home without living in fear in our lives anymore, so it's always good to actually come up with a character to actually make me uh, want to appreciate your life or what gender you're in and stuff, because like, it's always important to have a very strong role model in your life, especially in video game franchises, because like they're not just here for you to sex appeal anyone like that. They they could be they could do a lot more than just sex appeal. So they could do anything they want to. They could do what a man can do. Now I think also what a man can do what a female can do. I'm just gonna leave that alone for that part. But the bottom line is like I enjoy the gameplay. The gameplay itself is confusing. But uh, other than that, it's like a really a fun series to get into it, regardless of the situation. So I had a, a lot of fun playing this game for you guys. So if you guys want me to play the game again, as Series 2 Samus, by the way, you just press the start button. And instead of wearing uh, all the Chozo suit or the power suit, you get to wear a Series suit. And yes, uh, you get to have all your abilities like the. Uh, the bomb, the morph ball, I don't know how the fuck she's doing that right now. She got a nice hip though. Nice, oh, nice thigh. But, um, I'm glad that I uh, gave myself killed on purpose and just fucking, um, be done with it. So, that's a really good unlockable you can play for this game, because, like, I'm over here on dying on purpose like an idiot, because, like, I just want to get this done over it, because, uh, I want to save the game and just call it a day, because, like, I don't have to worry about shit because I already got the. Um, I got the screw attack, I got the. Uh, I don't have the energy tank and such. I got I got the, the bombs, the wave beam, ice beam, everything. So basically, if you guys want me to play this game again for Zero Two Salmon on it, let me know in the comment below. I'll be happy to play it for you guys. I'm just gonna play it uh, um, I'm just gonna play it once for this game for now. And then once that's done. I'm gonna save right here. So once that's done, I'm just gonna play the game uh, by your request. If you want me to play Series 2 Samus outfit, because that was my fourth run playing personally, and I can collect everything for you guys if you guys like. And um, 
If you do like it, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification, and share those like this class in the future. And that being said, I'm the video game crusher, and your officer says, Catch out and Metroid Zero Mission, baby. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.